Hi everybody, uh, welcome to another tutorial. Um, this tutorial is going to be how to create um, a terrain in Houdini, uh, export it out, get it into Gaia, finish it and texture it, and then bring that back into Houdini for a render. Um, I'm not going to be going into great detail on height fields or Gaia. This is very much a kind of a pipeline overview of how to get something from Houdini to Gaia and back. Um, there's tons of videos and tutorials out there on how to create expertly done uh, landscapes and finished, um, but that's not what this tutorial is for. Um, most of the work with terrains and landscapes, uh, it goes with lots and lots of tweaking um, and dialing in, which is incredibly uh, boring to watch. So let's go ahead and jump in. Uh, we're Here we are in Houdini. Um, one caveat, I'm going to try to make this so you can achieve it in a non-commercial Houdini session. Um, so the maps that I'm going to be exporting out of Houdini will be pretty low res. Um, because there's a ceiling on what you can export from the non-commercial version. Okay, here we are in Houdini. Let's go ahead and make a geometry node. Jump in here. Type in HF and create a height field node. Let's set that to 500 by 500. Uh, next up is going to be a height field noise. that in. Uh, for this terrain I'm just going to make basically make like a, a simple mountain. Uh, Someone's gone here to Whirly. Uncheck center noise and element size. Let's bring that down. Bring the amplitude down as well. And I'm thinking that's that's good enough for now. Then we're going to go over here and do a height field draw mask. We're going to pipe that into the mask slot for the height field and then hovering over this viewport I'm going to hit enter with the height field mask node selected and now I'm just going to kind of draw in an area and that's good enough. Uh, go ahead and blur it out. Get rid of those edges bit more. Then let's go back into our noise here and tweak a little bit. This. Up a little bit. And then I'm just going to go over here to the offset. Just try to find a peak. should be good enough. Go back into the mask. I just don't want the height field clipping outside. Um, so I'm going to go back and just redraw this. Going over to strokes, I'm just going to delete both of those. And I'm just going to go in here. And that works. All right. So there's our there's our basic height field. Um, just go ahead and run a distort through this. Height field distort by noise. And that's just going to break it up, break up the the edges. You can see. So, and that's, this is good enough for, uh, for what we want out of Houdini. Um, so next up, let's just throw down an output. So HF output here. And in our output, I'm just going to go to a folder I've got. This mountain HF. Dot .exr. We're going to export exrs for this. 
hit accept. Um, this is the part that'll that is relevant to people that are using non-commercial versions. I'm just going to set the map resolution to 512 by 512 um, because the limit, I think, is 1024 by 512, and we're going to use a square map. Um, so we've got that. All the rest of that's fine. What we're going to do is uh, just do a single channel under Format, um, and then we're just going to select Height. And for output range, we're going to do an auto remap from 0 to 1. And I think that should be about it. Then we're just going to hit Save Disk. And now let's jump over to Gaia. All right, here we are in Gaia. First thing we're going to do is bring our height field in. So I'm going to right click and just type in FIL and then it'll bring up file. Browse. Grab our height field, open that up. And you're going to see. We're going to get this, which doesn't look great. So let's check 32 bit EXR and now we're getting a better result, uh, but you can see this the scale is way off. Um, there might be a different way to fix this. Um, please let me know in the comments if you if you do know the way. Um, but I've found that just clamping this works. So I bring a clamp down, and then just bring this max value down, and then we're going to get closer to what we had um, inside of. Alrighty, so we've got this. What do we want to? What do we want to kind of do to this? Well, the first thing I want to do is mix in um, a bit more variation. So I'm going to drop in a mountain here, and I'm going to also combine this. So just combine. So top input for that is going to be my file and then the bottom is going to be my mountain and you're going to see it's mixing between these two um, the combined nodes in Gaia are sort of like uh, Photoshop um, where it's just basically a blend between the two um, and we can set this to whatever we want I'm just going to set it to max for now we're going to try to keep the uh, the node tree to this as minimal as possible just so we can get through it quickly um, so first thing I'm going to do after this is just drop down a wizard, um, which is basically uh, a really cool erosion node that helps uh, deal with erosion in kind of a fast way. So I'm just going to go over here. Um, I want this to be a bit like a rocky mountain, so I'm going to add crags. Normal um, density, I want this to be hard, rocky. Um, you could, of course, can mess with all this stuff. And then once all that's done, I'm just going to hit Apply Changes. And you can see now it's going to start doing that erosion. Um, you can make it a little bit more. Maybe something like that. I'm going to go back to our combine here because I'm not digging this. Let's... I'm going to go down to this mountain and change this a little bit. And just mess with the seed. There we go. That's that's more what I'm looking for. I'm just going to back here. Fine. Bring that ratio. Try multiply. That works for me. Go back to our erosion, and now we've got this. This is great. So let's go ahead and make this kind of like a snowy, um, like alpine mountain range. So if I just type in snowfall, type that in here. Now you see we've got snow. Um, 
now I want to add some some color and texture to this so I'm just trying to drop down a texture node take our road into that that looks fine to me and then we're going to drop down a sat map and I want this to be pretty kind of dark so I'm going to go back to wizard I'm going to right click and I'm going to just make sure this is pen as underlay um, so as I go through these I can kind of see what's happening underneath um, so let's find something kind of dark and rocky Again, I'm not going to spend a ton of time on this. Uh, it's about just showing you how to get back and forth between the two different applications. Find something a bit darker. Maybe something like this. There we go. Then I'm just going to edit the sat map. I'm going to bring some of these lighter values down. Maybe something like that. That should work. Now I'm going to go ahead and combine these. And I'm going to take the output of my snow here and plug this into sat maps. And now we get this combination where we can have a nice snowy peak. Um, let's go back to the stat map and just find something better. It still doesn't look great. That actually kind of works. Let's, yeah, there we go. That works. All right. I just, for some reason, the, the viewport freezes up, but I'm not sure what causes it. But we're back back to normal here so we've got texture sat map combine the snowfall and we have our um, our elevation or our height map here so I'm gonna right click and go to mark for export so this is our height field and then this combine I'm gonna mark this for export and this is gonna be our color so if I go over here under build you can see I have combined so I'm just gonna call that color and under the wizard, I'm just going to call this height. We're going to set these to EXRs. And everything else should remain the same. Down here, we're going to pick where we want these files to go. Folder and call it maps. Select. And we should be good to go. So I'm just going to hit start build. Maps, save. Oh, we have to save the tour file. Uh, so I'm just going to call this mountain. The tour file is the actual Gaia file, so you have to save that before you export these maps. It's going to build. Go check our maps. Let's see, we've got a bunch of EXRs here. Um, color and heights, but we're going to use these things uh, you could use in a more advanced setup, but for now, these are the ones we're going to use. So let's go ahead and go back into our Houdini session. So here is our height field. So now I can read our height field back in with an HF file. So height field file. Go in here and we're going to browse to our map for the height, which is right there. Hit accept. And you can see under height scale, we're just going to try to dial this in just by eyeballing it. Um, you could always just look at your other, your uh, your height field over here and just kind of A, B it so we can here to there. 
that we could also scale this down. Um, this just gets really to wherever the high fields eventually going to go um, as far as matching these. So we could always scale this up and down as well. Uh, but for now, we're just going to go ahead and proceed. Um, we'll just say this is our, our mountain that we're going to use. Um, so last steps, we're going to we're going to drop down a height field quick shade. Throw that in here. And then under the base, we're going to go find that color map, which is here. And this is what we're going to get. Now you're going to notice it's not nearly as bright or as colorful. Um, I think this has to do with color space. I may not, I'm not totally sure. But basically what you can do is go into Photoshop Grab your color map. It's an alpha. And then if you wanted to, you could go in and just do a levels. So you kind of bump that up a little bit. Hit OK. Save it. Now we go back in here into Houdini. Just lower, load it back in. It hasn't changed much. Um, this is something that you can you can absolutely mess with. Um, you can just mess with the luminous the luminous values inside of, of Photoshop. You know, I'm gonna save this out as a different file. Save. No compression. Go back into Houdini. Like that. Hit accept. There we go. Now it's brighter. Um, good, definitely good enough uh, for this example. Um, so let's go ahead and just jump out. Call this terrain. Let's throw down a light. We'll just throw down an environment light. Uh, I'm just going to go grab an HDR. Here. Put that in. So now we have an HDR map in here for lights. Um, we can brighten it up if we want. Just bump that up. And then last but not least, we'll just go to our render view and just hit render. Now this is uh, just using Mantra, so you could totally do this with Karma or something like that. Um, but this is just, um, a, again, just a workflow to, to show you how to get back and forth. And this is going to take a second, and we should be good to go. And there's our environment. Which for something uh, pretty quick, this is pretty good results. Um, this is totally work as a background mountain or even mid ground for that matter. Um, you could always go through and do a lot more work on the texture and things like that. Um, but this should at least give you a nice overview of how to get from Houdini to Gaia and then back again. Um, because Gaia is really good uh, at its, uh, its erosion is amazing and the texturing capabilities are pretty awesome as well. And that's it. Thanks, everyone.